Hey everybody, welcome back. Dave the Wild Flipper here. Welcome back to our channel and our humble kitchen where we process stuff out from our eBay sales. It's Wild Hail Sales on eBay is our shop. And we have a fairly nice set of sales going out for this weekend. Mind you, that is Friday night to Sunday morning. And right now it's around noon here, almost one o'clock. So we're gonna dive into some of these. Um, about a gross of $263 going out for this weekend. And that's actually better than we've seen in a while. So we're pretty happy about this. Uh, let's dive right in. We got some neat stuff going out and fairly diverse. Got a couple sets of these. And there, I think, uh, I think I might have even just one more left of Ninjago Spinjutsu pieces. Uh, two different bags, two different characters. Whiplash and Snappa, both together, those are going out for $14. Pretty nice for just little bags of Lego, but they're pretty popular. We've got a little jewelry set that we have together with some clip-on earrings. We don't know if they're ceramic or resin, which I did say we're not sure what they're made of. But this nice little set of jewelry with the necklace and earrings, uh, it looks a little mid-century modern. Uh, is going out for $9 for the whole set. We've got some thimbles. Now I got a whole set of these bird thimbles for $5. And each one that I've sold, we've sold, gosh, I think maybe half of them, are 3 to $4 a thimble. So made our money back on them fairly quickly. Everything on these is profit. And this one's going out for $3.75. It's the Nightingale. Pretty neat. We also have, uh, from a set, I put them on in singles as replacements, a couple of the Apostles. And they are going out together for $6, so $3 each. And of course I combine shipping. And sometimes folks have trouble with eBay letting them send an invoice, so they just buy them, and what happens then is whatever's left over on the shipping. In this case, it was $4.35 a thimble. I just gave them the shipping back for one, and it'll totally cover the rest. Those will go first class, be just fine. We have a stack of railroad books. Now, I'll tell you, Railroad modeling is a thing, and these have a lot of little papers in them. They were pre-used. I did make sure that they understood that when they bought these books. There are, let's see, four, eight, nine books, and they're going out for $14 as a lot. And I got these on a picker sale. All together, this whole stack was probably about a dollar. So really, nice turnaround. Not bad at all. We've got a toaster over here, uh, Cuisinart, going out. Don't mind the loaf of bread behind it. We did not. We did test it, and it does work. Uh, it gave off a little bit of a smell, but I think that's because of the crumbs that were in it, and I emptied those out as best I could. We're getting a little bit of profit on this. I spent $5 on this at a yard sale, and it's going out for $9.75. Not a big turnover. Kind of expected maybe a little better. Took a while to sell it. Win some, you lose some, but at least it's a profit. And, boy, these were crazy. I've got these Wedgwood plates. There's a stack of eight of them. Wedgwood icing bone china. These are discontinued. And it used to be that these kind of plates discontinued would rack up some good money. Um, looking at replacements.com, they were $70 a plate. Now, we tried to sell them as single replacements, and for over a year that just failed. So I finally put them all together as one lot, and we sold them for $30 for the whole set. Um, I don't think we were really into them for much of anything. I don't remember where we got them, but I think uh, we wound up with them for very little. Maybe it was that freebie yard sale we went to. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. It might have been that. We might have got them for nothing. So, 30 bucks out of nothing, I'll take it. Let's see here, we have some cross-stitch 
here. Catitude's fifth letter. Uh, Dear Mrs. who's holding the camera phone there, put these up. They were just sitting around. This one is going out to... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I just got myself filtered up. It's going out for $6.75, which is pretty nice. Um, it's in good shape. I'll set it aside. We do have someone who bought two others together. And these are going out for $10 because I made an offer of $5 each. And the person decided to buy two of them out of the three that they were looking at. Really nice. Let's see here. We have got some cassettes heading out the door. We've got uh, 1980s Technotronic Pump Up the Jam, or was it 90s? 90s. Was that 90s? Either way, it's a cassette, and the cassette is going out for $4.50. For most of our cassettes, we're into them for less than a quarter each, so it is nice to have them sell, sell and go away. I'm having the usual talking problems, so don't mind me. We've also got Alice Cooper, Billion Dollar Babies, going out the door for $6.75. Really good for a cassette, very popular cassette. So it was nice to have that head out the door. One of my son's Pokemon cards going out the door for $20. That is from a set called Gym Heroes, I believe. It is not a first edition, but it is a foil. Someone made me an offer of $20 on it. It was on for $26. I said, sure, that sounds good. And my son does get that money because he does help out with the business, and that's good. Uh, let's see here, we've got this cool baby necklace with amber beads. Mm -hmm. uh, genuine Baltic Amber, it says, by Mama Goose Products Limited. And this is going out for a total of $8. It's brand new on with tag. And I'll have that in this, and then I'll have it in an envelope. So that'll work out really well and let's see here how am I doing I am now down to I believe the HO building set like I said if you find some parts like HO railroad parts these are just this is just a building that's not totally put together and I've had a few buildings sell so it's it's really good that's going out for six dollars and seventy five cents just for three things that are not yet oh we're sniffing the dog food Look at that. You can't have that. Sniff, sniff. Look at you. But if you find, like, train building stuff, stuff for train tracks and collectors like them a lot, they're, they're good to sell. It's not always a lot of money, but it, I had... I think we made about $60 off of this set of buildings, and dear wife wasn't so sure they would go anywhere, so now I'm happy to tell her when everyone sells. <laughs> and that is really all we have going out that I get to pack up today. Um, I think that uh, it's a good set of sales. I'm pretty happy to have it. We're looking forward to seeing an upswing through tax time. And I don't know, maybe we're starting to see things get back on track again. How is it for you? Let us know in comments. As always, please subscribe. Follow us, check us out, and, you know, we'll be around to play on the next flip. Take care.